What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about the tangent ratio or the tangent trig function. And also how to use the tangent ratio in order to solve for missing sides in a right triangle. So maybe you've heard of the acronym SOKATOA. This is the TOA part, okay? So here you can see that we have the tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side, all right? So TOA, that's where the TOA comes in. Okay, so let's find some tangent ratios. All right, so we're gonna use this triangle right here. So triangle RTS, all right? And we have uh, these three sides over here, right? 28, 45, and 53. Now, whenever we're looking for a, the tangent of an angle, we're always gonna use the acute angles. So uh, angle, this angle right here, we could call it angle R, or this angle right here, which we can call angle S. Okay, so let's find the tangents of these two angles. Let's start with R though, all right? So first we want to find the tangent of angle R. So again, this is gonna be equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. Okay, so here, again, we're just looking at angle R. What would be the opposite side? Well, the angle always opens up to the opposite side. Okay, so the opposite side over here, as you can see, the length is 45, right? So the opposite side is equal to 45. And what would be the adjacent side? Well, we know this side down here is the opposite side. We know this side, the longest side, is the hypotenuse. So that means by process of elimination, this side right here must be the adjacent side. Okay, and that makes sense, right? Because adjacent just means next to. So as you can see, this side right here is right next to this angle. And the length of this side is 28, all right? So the adjacent side is equal to 28. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could divide these just to simplify it a little bit. So you could do 45 divided by 28, and that's equal to approximately 1.61. Okay, so the tangent of angle R is approximately equal to 1.61. All right, so that was R. So now, uh, let me clean this up a little bit. Now let's do S, all right? Let's find the tangent, right? The tangent of angle S. So again, the tangent is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So now when we're looking at angle S, what would be the opposite side? Well, again, this angle just opens up, right? Points to the opposite side. So this side over here, right, the side that is not touching the angle, this is the opposite side, and in this case, it's gonna be 28, right? So we're gonna have 28 on top, right? Now again, when we're looking at angle S, what would be the adjacent side? Well, this side over here, again, is the hypotenuse, so then this side over here must be the adjacent side, right? The, the side that's right next to the angle, right? It's touching the angle, and that's 45. Okay, now again, kind of up to your teacher if they wanna leave it like this or not, but if you wanna simplify it, you can. So 28 divided by 45 is equal to approximately 0.62, right? So the tangent of angle S is approximately 0.62. All right, so now that we know how to set up the tangent ratio, let's do a couple quick examples where we can use the tangent ratio to solve for some side lengths, all right? So let's start with this one on the left. So we have a triangle right here. Uh, we have this side down here is X, the missing side. This side over here is 12, and we don't know the hypotenuse. Now we do know two angles in the triangle, right? We know the right angle, and this angle is 41 degrees, right? So how can we use the tangent ratio to solve for this missing side right here? Well, let's look at the angle that we're given right here, 41 degrees. Why don't we try to identify our three sides right here, right? The opposite, the adjacent, and the hypotenuse. Well, this long side right here, the longest side, that's obviously the hypotenuse. And then uh, relative to this angle right here, we know that this side over here would be the opposite side, right? This is the opposite side. And then this, that means this side down here is the adjacent side, okay? So since we can use the opposite side and the adjacent side, that means we can use the tangent ratio. So the tangent of this angle right here that we're talking about, right? And it's given, right? It's 41 degrees, so we can just plug that in. So the tangent of 41 degrees 
is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, right? So here that would be 12 over x. Okay, now, as you can see, we're trying to solve for x, right? So we're trying to isolate it. But the problem is it's in the denominator right now and we have to take it out of there. So in order to do that, we simply multiply both sides by x. Okay, so then on this side, the x on the bottom and the top just cancel out and we're just gonna be left with 12, right? And then on this side, we have x times the tangent of 41 is equal to 12, right? So we have x times the tangent of 41 is equal to 12. Now, again, we're trying to solve for x, we're just trying to isolate it. So the next thing we can do is get rid of this tangent of 41. And in order to do that, we can simply divide by the tangent of 41. And remember, whatever you do to one side of an equation, you do to the other. So we'll divide by the tangent of 41 on this side also. So then these tangents of 41 cancel out. And we're left with simply x on the top over here, right? So we just have x, and that's equal to this side over here, 12 divided by the tangent of 41, which if you plug this into your calculator, you'll get that this is approximately 13.8. All right, let's try one more example here. And this one's actually gonna be probably a little bit easier. Okay, so again, the first thing we can do is just identify our three sides to make this a little bit easier. So again, the longest side over here is the hypotenuse. And then this angle, the 27 degrees, it's given. So as you can see, if we go to the opposite side over here, we know this unknown side X must be the opposite side. And that means this side up top next to the angle is the adjacent, whoops, adjacent side, right? So again, we can use the opposite side and the adjacent side, right? So that means we can use tangent. So the tangent of this angle right here, which again, it's given, right, 27 degrees, so 27 degrees is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So here that's gonna be x over 15, okay? Now here, as you can see, x this time is in the numerator, okay? So that's gonna be easier to solve because we just want to isolate it and get rid of this 15. So the way we can get rid of this 15 is by simply multiplying both sides by 15, right? multiply both sides, right? So then here the 15s cancel out and we're just left with X on this side, right? So we get that X is equal to 15 times the tangent of 27. And if you plug that into your calculator, you'll get that this is approximately equal to 7.64, all right? So there's that last missing side, boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.